for now. Ladyboy Pem is coached by English boyfriend Kenny. Beautiful regular money in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> And the lady boys have one week to shape up. Hit me with those laser beams. When they'll sing at Pattaya's biggest theatre, where five lady boys will be chosen for the band live on stage. So me, the best girl, win. Last time, Scott and Barry struggle to find lady boys to try out for their new pop group. It's about six days to the first audition. Uh, in all honesty, I'm bricking it. But against the odds, they held the first round of auditions. Hey, so good. So good. And chose nine finalists, including Paris. Pem. I just wanna stay in my bed. Emmy. I think of you every night and day. Maria. It's so easy to fall in love. And dancer Rufa. I'm so sweaty, actually. And I feel nervous. In downtown Pattaya, a week of rehearsals has begun for the singers Scott and Barry shortlisted for their new five-piece ladyboy pop group. Come on, who wants to be first? Alex, Alex. Oh, come on, Maria. <laughs> five lives will change in a big way. They're going to get a chance to make a bit of money and, you know, the parents can be proud of them. That's great. Yeah, that would be good. I'd be really happy with that. For the final auditions, band manager Scott has hired Pattaya's prestigious Coliseum Theatre. This 1,250-seat venue hosts Asia's largest transgender cabaret show. In one week, each of the nine hopefuls will sing live on this stage, with five winners selected before a packed house. We're going to have to implant into them. You have a big opportunity now. It's up to you whether you mess it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like we're three short at the moment. <laughs> One of the three missing lady boys is dancer Rufa. Rufa? I don't know where Rufa is. We're around the stage. She doesn't turn up. She obviously doesn't want it, does she? And we don't want people in the band that don't want it. She's got to be keen. How can you not be keen on a, on, on a rehearsal? You know, it just shows your intent, doesn't it? If you can't turn up for a rehearsal. She, uh, she's not interested, she's not interested. Neither are we, if that's the case. Paris, yes, come on. Next to rehearse is 26-year-old Filipino Paris. Here we go, here we go. To be in a ladyboy band, I think um, it will change my life because life is so difficult. Also, my family, I really want to help them. Paris, she's got the look, just a fantastic look for a, a girl who should be in the center of the group and, you know, can actually sell the group almost on her looks alone. Professional vocalist Maria has been singing around the Pattaya club scene for over five years. Watching from the wings is Pem, who nearly didn't try out for the band. After hearing Maria sing at the first auditions, Pem lost her nerve. Pem's never sung in front of anybody, so it's been quite difficult for Pem. I actually like Pem looks-wise. I think she's great. I think she's lovely. Uh, she seems a nice person. Singing-wise, she hasn't got the confidence. Today, Pem is supported by British boyfriend Kenny. Everybody thinks it's uh, very good, but I'm not good. Only, only me. <laughs> Don't worry about it. As long as you can perform well, so you can dance, you can smile. <laughs> <laughs> I 
flash that smile, that's what it's all about. I scared I cannot do it. <laughs> you done great, uh, I'm, I'm still shy, yeah. Because I never do, I really never do like that. I'm not good sing song. Enjoy it, alright? Fire like you beautiful sea, I should to be happy. You and I, you and I, build a diamond in the sky. Okay, that was excellent. Come on. I'm really proud of what she did. I knew that she was going to be nervous, but I think I was. I think I was more nervous than she was. I was worried that she might freeze up, but she went up there and you know she she took a little while to warm up. Once she was going, I thought she was really good. Pem has been dating English teacher Kenny for three months in Bangkok. She's been the best thing that's happened to me since I've been here for the year I've been here. Darling, can you take five for me? Okay, one minute. That's that. This is Kenny's first serious relationship with a ladyboy. If you ask me how much I love Kenny today, uh, more than the sky. Darling! Yeah. You done? Mm. Don't think you know this song. It was long before you were born. You don't know Van Halen? Mm, I don't know. Pem is 22. She was born a boy and was nicknamed Golf. She started dressing as a girl when she was six years old. When Pem enrolled at university, she was already living as a woman. Beautiful girl, beautiful girl, beautiful girl, beautiful girl. Dude! When Pem was studying for her degree, she attended college every day dressed as a girl. But then just for the sake of her graduation, the rules of her university stated that she had to cut her hair, wear a, a shirt and tie, and collect her diploma as a boy. When when I graduation, I cut hair and feel feel down because I want I want I want to be like like girl. When I take photo with my family, when I take photo with friend, I want to be like girl. I know that Pem is a lady boy, so I accept that she's got this past, and in that past, she was a guy. But it was still a bit of a shock to to see it with my own eyes. She does nothing for me in that form. For me, I, that, this is the Pam I know, or, or I've come to know, so, so that person, it's, it's a completely different person. For me, that, that person died the day she became Pam. Pattaya, Thailand is the ladyboy capital of the world. When British expat Scott moved here two years ago to live with his ladyboy fiance, Pang, he helped her set up Sensations Bar. She's very conscientious about her being there, putting the hard work in um, and making the bar function. So she works probably 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Pang's hard work has paid off. Business is doing very well. The bar's doing great. We've got great staff. Tonight, Scott is taking rare time off from his latest venture, the Ladyboy Band, to support his fiance. Sensations Bar is bursting with Ladyboys and those who seek them. One of Scott and Pang's customers, Glaswegian George, found his way to Thailand looking for Ladyboy love. I think most people would automatically assume I'm gay. And, uh, I don't find men attractive at all. I like ladyboys. I, I like people who look feminine. They are feminine. They think of themselves as female, but essentially, I suppose, biologically, they're male. Thailand says the third sex, and I kind of embrace that philosophy. This is George's first trip to Thailand. He came here to see a ladyboy whom he met online. Um, we spent almost a year talking. I, I, well, I came out to Bangkok to meet her. Unfortunately, I turned up a month early 
to a very big surprise, the surprise being that she wasn't single. She wasn't the person that she um, purported to be. At 52, George is very clear about what he wants from his next relationship. I, d I don't want a 25-year-old to see me naked. A 40-year-old woman knows what to expect, you know? I've got the crinkles, I've got the stretch marks, I've got the saggy bits. Um, I want a woman close to my age. I don't want a 20-year-old lady boy. It's nothing to do with her gender. I want to be with somebody close to my age. I would, I would, I would just like to meet somebody who I, who I love, who can love me and just um, forget the barriers and not look at things in too much depth, I suppose. Just, just, just accept me. George is not alone in looking for acceptance. Rufa is one of the bar's regulars and a hopeful for the Ladyboy band. She also longs for someone to love her. It's, it's really tough, you know, for us, you know, to find a special someone, what we called, because this Pattaya, this is all renowned as sex tourist city. And most of the Parang who, who visited Pattaya are just for holidays, for a short time visit. And most of them, they came here just to satisfy, you know, their needs, you know, their fetish. Because at the end of the day, this Parang lives Pattaya. They have a fun short time here. Maybe they have their own family in their home, in their homeland. We never know, because we just met them in a bar or in the street or in the club. 30-year-old Filipino Rufa was born a boy called Christopher. Now she makes ends meet as a ladyboy, frequenting Pattaya's bars and entertaining Farangs, a Thai term for white foreigner. I need to work hard for myself because I need to pay for my, for my rent and I live by myself. It's a way of living, surviving. It's a survival for us. Some men, you know, asking like, if the life of ladyboy is really hard for you, why, why don't go back to, to be a boy again? I said, I cannot because, you know, I'm happy being like this, and um, I'm comfortable. My heart is a woman. In Thailand, for some ladyboys, regular work away from prostitution can be hard to find. Scott's new project, the Ladyboy Band, could prove a lifeline for Rufa. Wherever the girl comes from, whatever her background is, she's, she's going she's gonna to be trained to, to work in a band. And we take her and we change her life. And for me, that would be absolutely brilliant. Rufa missed the first rehearsal, and Barry has concerns about her singing voice. So he's invited her for extra coaching. Come on, girls. Fellow finalist Brianna has come for moral support. I, I, I was disappointed when uh, Rufa didn't turn up uh, to the rehearsal the other day. And I just thought that um, she, she's got a great visual aspect to her. Maybe she's not confident about her singing, but maybe we can work on that. What do you want to start off with, this one? Man, man I feel like a woman? Yes, because I feel like a woman, really. <laughs> right, now... So I pick this song. One, two, three, yeah. I'm going out tonight, I'm feeling all right. Gonna let it all hang out. Barry is a multi-platinum right. selling pop producer with 34 years in the industry. But he's never had to coach ladyboys before. Can you try that? Okay. I'm, I'm going out no, tonight. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. La -la. I'm going out tonight. Okay. <laughs> I'm going out tonight. I'm feeling old. No, you're singing too okay, high. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going out tonight. I'm going out tonight. Okay, got that note. Okay. One, two, three. I'm, I'm going. going out. No, now you sing okay, different. So, one, two, three. three. Go. Um, I'm <laughs> I admit that I'm not, you know, the best boys uh, you know, among the other girls, but uh, I have my, you know, my confidence. Man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> this is such a good song. This is, this is such a good song, honestly. I know Rufa. I've known her for a long time. A singing isn't great. Maybe that could come on. But we've said from day one, we're not looking for five Adels. As long as we've got a couple of good singers, then we need some chorus girls, girls that look good and girls that can dance. Gotta hit me. Gotta hit me. Hit me with those laser beams. 
Hit me with those laser beams. <laughs> Another lady boy hoping to make the band is accountant Pem, whose relationship with expat Kenny is flourishing. Relationships in Thailand, it's not like back home. I've compared it to dog years. Although we've been together months, it feels like, you know, maybe about three or four years. <laughs> Today's the big day. It's our three month anniversary, and she's been on at me for a very long time to get her a ring. So I can't believe I'm taking relationship advice from Beyonce, but if you love her, then you've got to put a ring on it. I want him to buy a ring for me because I want to... I want everybody to know I have a boyfriend. This is the Thai thing, this is the Thai culture. I think if I try and hold her off for any longer, then she's going to start getting angry. And the thing is with the lady boys, you won't like them when they're angry, so I'm going to have to appease her. Emma's vanished into thin air. I don't know where she is. She's just noticed that all the uh, all the nail paint on her ring finger has come off, so she's not happy. She doesn't want to put her ring on a scruffy finger. I've got a feeling she's trying to hunt down the nearest nail bar to try and get her nails put right. She likes to look immaculately presented every time she goes out. I think she's actually painting her nails and walking at the same time. She's multitasking. So first, I need to just paint first. With her nails in an acceptable state, Pem likes Kenny to be just as well groomed. She hates it when I've got bad breath. So she's making me freshen up a bit. If I get you this ring, we stop asking for iPhone, car, house, baby. Thai law doesn't recognise ladyboys as female, and same-sex couples aren't allowed to marry or adopt. For Kenny and Pem, a ring can only be symbolic, and starting a family would have to involve a surrogate. You choose. You're the one that's going to wear it. I just want to beautiful ring and special ring. I hope that special isn't a code word for expensive. How about this one? Yeah, if you like it. My finger's too big. Ladyboy fingers. Shut up. In discussions we were having, it's going to be under £100 to get her in. It's a little bit over what we agreed. Uh, it's about £110 in English money. Kenny earns a modest teacher's wage, and the ring is almost the cost of his monthly rent. I like this one. I'll pay, but no Botox. Oh, oh OK. So with this ring, I get 3,000 brownie points. OK. And I go out drinking with my friends tonight. OK. And next week, and the week after that. No. And then I go to Patsy for the volleyball. No. Yes. I go with this you. Thank you. Yeah. I love you too. I hope you like it. There's just 24 hours before the final auditions for Scott and Barry's five-piece ladyboy pop group. The finals will be held at the prestigious Coliseum Theatre, where tourists flock to see Thailand's famous transgender showgirls. Here, the ladyboy finalists will sing live on stage to secure their place in the band. And today is their last chance to rehearse. Ladyboys are just a law unto themselves. They just really are. They're just, they're just like feral cats. They'll do what they want when they want to do it. I mean, look at today. I sent them a message saying, one o'clock, we start rehearsals. This does not mean you leave your house at one o'clock. 2.30, they start to arrive. You know, it's just it's ridiculous, but it's the way they are. I'll, I'll do a little intro, all right? So I'll go... But I will try to be to be good soon. <laughs> I love you more than I can say. Fab, I thought 
thought that was a great improvement from last week. You can tell you've been practicing. Okay, I was really pleased with you there. I did well. Good girl. Keep it up. Only six ladyboys have turned up. One of the strongest performers, Emmy, is missing. Emmy, it's Scott. How are you? You come to you come to rehearsal today? No. What? I hate myself on love and Emmy impressed at the first auditions with her confident singing. I wanna talk, but it run back and you can mind I get myself on love and you I think I think you're missing a great opportunity. I think you know that. This this band is gonna be worldwide, Emmy. In 2006, Sony BMG released an album by a five-piece ladyboy band called Venus Flytrap. Emmy was an original member. The band had moderate success. I think their major pitfall was they only sang in Thai, so they very limited audience. The good thing about Emmy, she's got the experience. She'll get up on stage, she'll do what you tell her to do, cos she's done it. Tell her we want her to do it, we want her to do it. If you travel down tonight, let me know, I'll put you in accommodation, I'll put you in a hotel, I'll pay all your expenses, OK? Brilliant. I have faith in you, Emmy. OK, okay. thanks, Emmy. Bye-bye. Don't want to see her dropping out. No, she's in Burira. Where's that? Oh, six hours away from me on bus. Nightmare. <laughs> Didn't I say this is going to happen? <laughs> With Emmy's decision hanging in the balance and two other finalists absent... I've got a lot of work to do. Scott and Barry must soldier on with rehearsals. OK. Right. OK. Yeah, out of reach. OK, let's do that. Just texted Emmy just to try and reiterate what I've told her on the phone, on the phone call. I just hope we can pull around and hope nobody else pulls out. But you can just see it happening. I really can. They get nervous. They don't quite realise what they're getting into and they just they give up a little bit too easy. And it's trying to pull around. Hopefully I've pulled Emmy round, but we shall see. Here we go from the beginning then. pleased with the way the girls are shaping up you know it's not no perfect but it's uh, always the same with rehearsals it's never quite right until you actually do it on the stage and then when the chips are down you sink or swim well just had a text from Emmy the number flashed up, so I knew it was from her. And it's either I'm coming or I've had a second thought and I'm not coming. But she said, thank you very much. I'm driving now. See you tonight. Get it. It's one of those twitchy moments when you don't know what's going to happen. But oh, that's great news. I'm chuffed to bits. Really am. Ladyboy Emmy lives over 400 kilometers north of Plataya in the peaceful town of Buriram. After years chasing a singing career across Asia, Emmy turned her back on the promise of fame and fortune and returned home to live with her parents. I love my life just like this because it can make me relax and uh, comfortable. Just like, don't think too much. Just lay down on my bed and wake up to see the garden. It's a green, green, green. Oh, wow. My life is very good. Now, Emmy has a successful business, teaching physics. At first, I have one student. Until now, I teach for um, two months already. Maybe almost three months. Yeah. I have 15 students. At 35, Emmy is clear about her identity as a woman. She's the only potential band member to have undergone a full sex change and have her penis removed. Now I feel I'm complete, complete about my body and my heart and complete about my career and my life. After hearing of Scott and Barry's auditions, 
Emmy was undecided whether to give singing one more chance. I tried to reject already, but Scott and Barry just tried to bring me back and promised me everything, just like can take care of me so much and can bring me and everybody to be the superstar and can worldwide have a world tour. Maybe this band is my time to be a superstar or not. I don't know. Leaving behind a steady life and flourishing business for a second shot at fame is a tough decision for Emmy. In the capital, Ladyboy Pem would love to be picked for the band and is busy practicing with Kenny for tomorrow's okay. final. A vision up to X to C. A vision of X to C. A vision up X to C. A vision up X to C. A vision of X to C. A vision, A vision of X to C. X to C. A vision, a vision, a vision, a vision of X to C. I'm very happy when I, when I cannot sing this song, but have my uh, have boyfriend come to teach me, help me can sing. Yes, my feel really good. Sing bright like a diamond. Sing bright like a diamond. Sing bright like a diamond. Beautiful like a diamond in the sky. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My ears hurt. Yeah, I'm really proud of how quickly she's come along. I think it was a bit of a confidence boost last week that the audition went so well. I mean, it's not easy for really any of the Thai girls to do this. I mean, to learn a song is one thing, but to try and learn a song that's outside of your native language is really hard, especially when there's lots of words in there that you're not used to, you're not used to using or you haven't been exposed to before. Final auditions for the Ladyboy Band will be held tomorrow. Manager Scott is meeting contestant Emmy, who has just driven from her rural village for six hours. Okay. Thank you Thank very you. much for coming down. <laughs> I really appreciate this. I know this is unprofessional of me to say this, yeah. but you are one of my choices yeah. for the band and Barry, okay? I admire you for yeah. looking for your future, you know, for okay. keeping your job. I totally agree with that. Okay. Uh, I think this could be a great opportunity for you, and I don't mm -hmm. think you'll want that afterwards. Yeah. But, but I admire you for, for looking for your future. Yeah. She's got the rest of her life to think about, and if this isn't professional and isn't done properly, and it's going to go nowhere, she's throwing her future away of her own business, and she's got to take care of that, and she's doing the right thing. So really, I've had to basically show my hand, which I don't like doing, but. Yeah, it had to be done. In Thailand, at Pattaya's popular Coliseum Theatre, it's the morning of the final auditions for Scott and Barry's Ladyboy Pop Group. Things this morning I'm going quite according to plan. We've had a few issues, a few setbacks. Uh, it stressed me out. One Ladyboy has dropped out, so just eight finalists remain. I feel responsible and this day has to go well. I mean, like for today, the girls are told them, let's be professional, I want you outside here, 10 o'clock. It's still turning up 11, 12 o'clock. During the actual show, you start up here. For the Lady Boys, the stakes are high. The chosen five will get to record a pop video, and their first single will be launched live on Thai television. The, the whole point of doing something in a fantastic theatre like this and in a big situation for the girls is A, the experience they're going to get from it, but B, um, you know, we can actually see how they, how the audience react to them, you know, because they've got to sell these songs to an audience. So we're throwing them right into the deep end. Joining Scott and Barry on the judging panel is Grace, Pattaya's top draw showgirl and the Coliseum's headline act. Today, we're going to fly the fly girl, come to the group. There must be. They can be scary or excited, but some, they will know how to do it, for sure. I'm confident. I'm excited. <laughs> feeling good, feeling beautiful, sexy today. Yes. I'm so sleepy. Yeah, come on. So you know when I laugh. Matt, come here. I think you're really important for me. To do makeup, you know. 
The finalists are responsible for their own costumes, makeup, and hair. Running maintenance. Tonight's audience have been promised a top flight show where the eight ladyboys will battle it out on stage. She talks all the time. Yes. Oh my God. She, she really wants more, talking. like, she wants money, she wants food. The battle has already begun backstage. Uh, Ropa is, you know, 100% uh, confident to herself because she knows that she will win in this competition. She will be the number one. And she told to the people in Philippines already. We all contestants have different personality and we should respect each other for the uniqueness of everyone. The evening kicks off with the Coliseum's renowned Ladyboy Showgirls. Each ladyboy will now sing in turn. To be selected for the band, only their best will do. Girls, girls. Just have attention one minute, please. Even though you were late, <laughs> thank you for turning up. Uh, we want to wish you the best of luck. Try not to be nervous. Enjoy the moment, OK? And go for it. Let's do it. Let's give them a good show, yeah? You look great. You look like stars already, before we've yes. even walked out there. So come, come on. on. Let's go, yeah? For the UK! <laughs> Finally, it's showtime. So we want to welcome all of you to a very special show, uh, during which we're looking uh, to find a pop band. Eight will perform, five will be chosen. The ladyboys have picked their own songs, styling and choreography. The judges expect confidence, tunefulness and stage presence. First to brave the crowd will be 26-year-old Brianna. So may the best girl win. The singers who impress have a real shot at fame and fortune. For ladyboys, opportunities like this could change their lives forever. easy to you know to face the people even it's few and many but yeah I think I did my best so excited this is my first time performing in a big audience Filipino Alex is next to face the judges we used to be just my dreams fine for Gems are interacting with me. Yeah, I had fun. Yes! I gotta go change now. At 35, Emmy is the oldest and most experienced singer. I'm next. I feel nervous and feel excited. Pem has little confidence in her own voice, but has vowed to give it everything she's got. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I love you more than I can say. I love you twice, but tomorrow. Oh, 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 love you more than I can say. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I miss you every single day. Why am I 
past my life is still with sorrow oh, 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 love you more than I can say I love you more than I can say I don't know how to feel about that. I feel very, very excited. <laughs> I never do that, like that before. Me. Everybody do like that to me. I'm, I don't know. I don't know how to tell. Rufa has struggled to sing in tune and missed rehearsals. But will her dance moves be enough? Have a good job in the city. Working for a man every night and day And I never lost one minute of sleeping Worrying for the day that might have been We will keep on sleeping Proud Mary keep on burning Rolling <laughs> Thank you, audience. I forgot my second lines, you know, in my song. And, but, uh, but I think that's okay. But I think, uh, you know, the audience are very supportive to me. And I'm so happy with that. Last Friday night, yeah, we came and came Next up, computer engineering student Jess. Last Friday night, yeah, we met your pretty part. Yeah, the kicked out of the bar, so we I feel like when I finish that song, uh, I'm gonna spread my wings and fly. fly. <laughs> I will drive past your house. Barry has said Paris could be at the center of the group if she proves she's got what it takes. For me, it's very important to be in a Lady Boy band. Your life will be changed, right? Then you will be famous and, of course, you will be rich. Last to perform is wedding singer Maria. Yeah, yeah, I feel good. Before um, performance, I think a lot of things, how to act, how to smile, how to stand up, how to walk. I think too much, a lot of things about everything. But now finished already, I feel, oh my Buddha. The singers have done all they can. It's now decision time for Barry, Grace and Scott. All right, all right, okay. This is not going to be easy. What do you think? It isn't easy because I think each one of those girls can bring something to the band. What do you say? It's my? Yeah. It refers to to be Maria. Maria? Rufa. Rufa? She can't sing to save her life, right? <laughs> like, she's so bloody entertaining. Can I just say you're going to have a problem with Rufa down the line? I, I love it uh, a bit. And, she's and this she's is great. Where I have to bow down to your superior knowledge of knowing these girls better. Uh, Brianna looks great. And we wanted that kind of rocky, ballsy element yeah. to it, you know? If so do, do we need two Alexes or two Briannas? Uh, uh, yeah. And what about Pem? I think Pem came a long way today. I think she's, she, from where she was two weeks ago, I think she's been amazing. We've already got Paris and Maria, yeah. who are great singers. Yeah, do we need that many great singers in the group? It's so difficult. It really is. The judges have made up their minds. It has been a very difficult decision because every one of these girls has got something that they could bring to this band. Whether it's entertainment, the way they look, their singing, there's, there's something that each one of these could do and that's what's been a really hard decision today. We have made a decision. There will be the five in the group. And the first one is... Paris.
Maria. Alex. Emmy. Fifth choice. This was so, so difficult. There's only one place left in the band. It's between Pen, Jess, or Brianna. Jess. Scott and Barry have their final five ladyboys. They'll now record an album, shoot a video, and launch a single. I'm really happy today, but I also feel very deflated that I've had to let those three girls down. I just feel guilty in some respects. Those girls are heartbroken out there. But what can you do? You've got to let somebody down. For Pem, it's enough just to have braved the stage. This is my first time for me. I'm proud. I think I cannot do it, but I think I can. I'm proud. I'm feeling happy. Really disappointed. Totally disappointed. No. Next time... You've been doing it really good and now you're doing it crap. It's got to get better, not worse. The hard work begins for the new Ladyboy pop group. I'm nervous. Butterflies in my stomach. As they record their debut single and shoot their first music video. Swatika! Pem sets her sights on a different dream. Her mum wants us to marry. She told me that... We were, we were to be married. And the Ladyboy Band is unleashed live on Thai television. I lost a lot of sleep because I was thinking about the group and I kept thinking we've made a gigantic mistake.